Hi you guys, do you have a space in your home where you want to declutter and organize? Well, I hope this video brings you some inspiration, tips and ideas to organize and declutter a space of yours. Today's video, we're specifically going into the linen closet and organizing and decluttering and also all of those gift bags that you have and don't know what to do along with all the gift items that come with that. I have a lot of ideas and organizing tips in today's video and let's go ahead and declutter and organize it getting ready for 2023 okay so we are in our upstairs hallway closet let me just give you a I have my ring light because it's very yellow lighting but it's upstairs in the hallway and this is what we're dealing with so this is our linen closet and if you're new here we are a military family and spaces tend to be on the smaller size but I believe this linen closet is a really great size for our home so very grateful for the space that we have. Back in our Hawaii home, we had a one linen closet and it was so, so small. And so I, I feel like I can compare those two and this one is definitely bigger. So very grateful, but as a family of six, we just accumulate a lot. We have a lot of things, towels, sheets, and you know, all that that comes with it. So yes, we're starting in the linen closet. And like I mentioned earlier, we will be tackling some gift items and birthday items that kind of go together and organizing that I love to share any tips and ideas that I have like I told y'all I really hope you get some inspiration from this and tackle maybe one area in your home that will make you feel better about it if you're new here my name is Carla welcome and if you've come back for another video I so appreciate you guys here I was doing a little reel and shorts video <laughs> that you see me trying to film with one hand is terribly hard it's very hard but you guys have do you fold your towels like this i wanted to try a different method to see if it would take up less space and to to be really honest i am not sure it takes up less space so i am still contemplating this way of folding the towels i haven't fully committed to folding the towels this way my husband says he does not like it so I don't know. I have to be honest and we're not fully on board. I tried watching some videos to fold towels to save space, but if you guys have any ways to fold your towels a specific way that saves space, I would love to know. You can send me a message on Instagram if you want to show me a video or send me a link as well. I would love to check it out, but like this is I was trying this new method of folding the towels and I'll be honest I'm not sure I am on board I do think it's important when you are decluttering and organizing specific spaces in your home. I feel like you should try different methods to see if they work better, if it can make your home be more efficient. I think that is the whole point behind decluttering and organizing is making those areas work more efficiently and work better for your family. So that was my attempt to try to see if I could fit more towels in here. Um, we don't have any more towels than what you see on the screen besides the ones that we use on the daily. So the point being is don't be afraid to try new ways of organizing or decluttering because you may love it and you may hate it, but you won't know if you hate it without trying first. So I did add in a couple more baby towels that wasn't that they weren't in the before shot so I feel like they did fit a few more towels so I don't know we'll have to see in the future if I continue using this method of folding towels. So 
so I really like this organizer because it's got like the uh, like the shoe pockets, but then it has bigger pockets, and then it has another one big pocket down here. So I really like that. I will be getting back to that organizer and I will be putting some things in, in there. I wanted to first go through these bins. They were semi-organized because I did a huge organize when we first moved in. I think I've done an organizing project in here a couple of times and I can tell you that it definitely has been working. So in the before clips, I don't know if you guys noticed, the bottom of the closet is where I was having a really hard time. And so when I get to that point, I will point it out a little bit more, but you know, you have to upkeep with certain things you have to reorganize certain things because a life happens and especially like when you're getting sick you're not going to sit here and like organize it all pretty and declutter so yeah we had been sick in november yeah november so things just got a little bit chaotic out of hand so just reorganizing this, these bins and just organizing them a little bit better just so when we do need these items we can get to them they were like the first first aid kits and then like the cold and ibuprofen for kids and all that just having it all together and actually this made me look at what we had and what we need so when you are decluttering or organizing your medicine cabinet items i would totally focus on the items that you really go for and write them down so you can do a little restock and that way you have it when the time does come and you're not like just empty handed. I feel like that is the worst. There's nothing worse than being sick and then having to go out and get whatever it is. So So this next tip is totally up to you. You can do the KonMari method where she tackles a specific area and she takes every single thing out all at once, or you can work in sections at a time. I'm going to, I don't know if there's an actual method for that, but we're just gonna call it the Carla method for now, because lately I have been tackling sections at a time. That way I don't get overwhelmed with all the things. So I was just working one shelf at a time and that is what works for me. And just throwing it out there, if you guys get overwhelmed or it's just a lot like you, you have a lot going on too like you're just busy and you can't tackle all the linen closet or all the shelves all at once tackle one shelf at a time maybe one day at a time and that way you can feel like you're getting some progress done without having to leave out the whole linen closet out in the hallway or in your bedroom So this video is definitely part of my winter series part four. Can you believe I've done four videos on decluttering and organizing my home? You guys, I could not stand another week or two or three to go by to get ready to declutter and organize my home. It's been, these areas have been really, really neglected and I'm so proud and happy now that these areas are you know, organized and decluttered and I can go into the new year with a little bit more of a fresh mind. And I totally understand, like if you cannot tackle it right now, that's okay. You have holidays coming up and just lots of traveling and family time. And I can totally understand that. I had the time and I took, I did, it did take me time, you know, and so I had to do specific dedicate, dedicated time to declutter and organize these really neglected areas. And so we are going to Texas for three weeks on December, which if you follow me, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes, but I will be posting there of 
you know, our time there and our adventures, but definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see that. So yeah, I didn't want to come back from Texas, which we come back from Texas January 4th. I did not want to come back and just feel so overwhelmed with everything. You know, I had my decorating up. It was good to go. I've done like my Christmas decorating. And so, you know, I didn't want to come back and just feel overwhelmed with all the things and the pressure. And there's no pressure to declutter and organize. So that is on your time, but that I knew I would feel like that. So if you need to come back to these videos beginning of the year, please do so. I will have like a playlist for you guys and share this with anyone that you might find this helpful. Like if they're going through a journey to declutter and organize, I think these videos can really help someone and sharing is truly very caring. <laughs> I would truly appreciate that but okay so you guys saw me organize the band-aids we have a thermometer section and a nail section so it's kind of like all you know you just use those little drawers for whatever you use most right and then my jewelry organizer that i used in my last week's video and you guys love that video so much thank you so much for watching you guys and yeah this jewelry organizer did you see that bin it was in? I mean, I finally now have it all organized and I'm so proud that I can finally, you know, open these up and wear them accordingly. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. So honestly, I feel like the bottom of this closet is the destruction zone. It was my problem area and I probably could have done this first but I had to work my way down. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my Declutter and Organize series, you have heard me talk about working from top to bottom and that seems to just like help me get started. It helps build some momentum. Um, and so that's one of my tips is start from top to bottom. If you're finding that you just don't even know where to start, do that and see if that helps you. But as you saw this bottom area of the linen closet, was very messy, very chaotic. I did end up decluttering some things in here that we're just not using. So the very top shelf of this linen closet, it has a lot of my husband's items and I've organized those items with Dollar Tree bins and that was one of my next tips. I do have these bins that I got from the Dollar Tree, not the one I'm currently working on right now. Those are from Target and they're like, I think... I'll have to link them down below because I really like these bins and I had one initially and I knew I liked them so I ordered three more and I'm so glad that I did because now everything is like nice and matching. It took me a really long time to order them and it took me even a longer time to get it all organized. I had the bins for about months. I think this is like a repetitive thing I've been saying in my declutter and organize series is that I've been holding on to these things because I just, I don't know, I had this block to declutter and organize my home, but it just, you just need to get in that mindset. Like, okay, it is time to do this time to get things in order. And it, I would say it took me about a month <laughs> to tackle all of these things. You guys are seeing them every Saturday, you know, like one a week. So you guys have been literally been coming on this journey with me to declutter and organize the most neglected areas in my home. So yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, right? And it's really cool to think about that I've literally brought you guys along this journey, but the bins really help with containing the things and all the things, you know. So we have sheets in some of them, two of them. And then the other one was like the bathroom curtains. <laughs> so I could not think. And then the other one was just the boys linen, like extra linen. Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you 
hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. I remember that it's over. All right, and now moving on to this Target shoe organizer, but that's not what I used it for. I used it for all of the extra little items that just had like one or two things, you know, like one of them housed all of the toothpaste and then the toothbrush heads and floss, you know, just those little things that they don't need like a whole bin. And oh my gosh, I am so excited that I got that. And I highly recommend for when you're organizing your linen closet, get you one of those and organize all the things in here. I mean, I feel like you can fit cleaning products in here. Um, so these items right here are the items that got donated. So that's pretty awesome. A huge bag full of items that were getting donated. And then these items in this bag were being trashed or recycled, I should say. So yeah, that's a pretty good job to declutter this space. And I was very proud of that because I actually didn't expect to declutter too much. I kind of knew what was going on in here, but this is the after. What do you guys think? You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark, so am I. The one who cries, I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen. All right, so I have my gift bag box with the birthday stuff, like you know, and big gift bags. So I got something from Amazon. It's not gonna do the job fully, but I think this can be better controlled. And so I got this from Amazon. I thought the pockets were gonna be a lot bigger. I got this a while back, so I miscalculated. I'll have to look something up for the bags themselves, but I like that it hangs on a door. This is our entryway, um, but I like that it can hang versus being like something on the ground. Cause they're just, we have no space for this. It's just sitting in a bin in the storage room. So. I want to be able to get to the things a little bit easier so hopefully this can do the job and then have like only gift bags in the bin so hopefully this works out the way i think it is in my brain give me some time give me some time to get stronger i'll be okay just give me a little bit longer Okay, so be honest with me. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you have a bin or a area or maybe a drawer of all the gift bag items and birthday items? Tell me how it is and where it is. So this bin, I've had this for a really long time and it just worked like it worked okay, you know, but man, things really got lost in here and you'll see in a little bit like how much was in here. And I really truly feel, I, I use that a lot, really truly. <laughs> um, but I really feel, now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm using really a ton. So I do feel that the organizer that I got really, oh my gosh, <laughs> That it helps with organizing all the gift bag items. Oh, fun fact, you guys. I have ran a half marathon and a full marathon. I was crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I would do that now. <laughs> I'm also not in shape for that. But not that I was in shape for the full or my half either. Like, I truly wasn't. But I did it. I freaking did it. And I did the Austin... I think I did the Austin full marathon and then I did the half marathon. Man, wild times. Um, but so proud of that for sure. But anyways, where was I going with this? Oh, having an organizer to 
organize your gift bag items and I like held all like the birthday things together so I held all the balloons together and gift bags and tissue paper and then the stuff whatever this stuff is called you know I just kept it all together because it was just birthday items um so yeah I really like this organizer that I got yeah, we're gonna win the struggle we're in it's never goodbye, it's never goodbye till it's over. So I would recommend this organizer. I like it a lot. And now when it's a birthday or like a party we're going to, now I can go to this section and not feel so overwhelmed. I'm actually going to be hanging it in the storage room because we don't, we have a lot of sliding doors downstairs. We have a couple of closets downstairs, but they're not like a door. They're just like sliding doors. So I don't have a, like another spot to hang it, but I think in the storage room, it'll be just fine to hang this. And that's what I love about it is that you can pretty much put it anywhere. You can put it behind a door, any door that you have, and it will work and it will do its job. And if I ever get an organizer for the gift bags themselves, I will keep you guys updated. But I'm not, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to like look out for one. I've seen carts, so I have seen that. But my problem is I don't have room for a cart, you know, like I just don't have room for it. But if you do have room for it, I feel like that would be a really good idea. Don't talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words Okay, so this is so much better. So I have this right now. I have the little decorating, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> clips for table runners, and then balloons, a ton of balloons, some ribbon in here. And then I have like banner items. Like all of these are banner items. I can see right here that my thank you stickers are right here. And then back here I have some stickers that have some letters. So I put it to where I can see everything. But like banners are right there. Um, wrapping paper is right here. Um, I did it pretty tight, but I like this Velcro because it like holds on to them. And then balloon holders, I have treat bags back here so I can see it. Some more garland. Um, more tissue paper because I couldn't fit anymore but now that I can see like I have enough tissue paper I have boy and girl and neutral tissue paper I know I don't need to buy anymore so having it like this is something like okay I don't need anymore because I have pretty much every color so this is very helpful versus a bin that's just like scattered so even though it doesn't fit all on here, it does help with organizing and like going through the products. You know what I mean? Um, like the treat bags, I can see that I have them now. 
And since I couldn't fit everything in one location, I have all the bags right here, but instead of laying them flat, I did it to where I can like go through it like a filing cabinet. Doesn't that make much better sense? <laughs> um, and I did fold the bigger bags in half. So like the really big ones, just fold it in half. And I feel like this will be a better way to get two bags and see exactly what I have. Um, and then these are like themed banners and whatnot. Um, this is like Fortnite. This is like girly. And then, yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, anyways, I think this is so much better now. I will make sure to leave Tori's channel here at the very end so you can go check it out. All right, if you guys made it till the end, leave me a green emoji down below in the comments so I can thank you so much for sticking till the end. I feel like I sound like a broken record. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope y'all enjoyed this decluttering and organizing for 2023 and just getting my home, my small home organizing tips and ideas, including my linen closet and gift bag organization. And I hope you enjoyed this winter series part four and i hope you guys have enjoyed all of this series and make sure to come back in the beginning of 2023 so you can get decluttered and organized in your home i love you guys i will see you all in the next video bye